Hello. You gonna be Lady Godiva's horse? What? <laughs> Our hero. <laughs> <laughs> He's so pretty. By the way, Lady Godiva did this in Coventry, England in August. Since I'm doing this in Putney, Vermont in almost November, there's going to be a few uh, adjustments, adjustments <laughs> to say the least. So I won't be naked. I will just be trying to accomplish the illusion of being naked because I need some clothes on. <laughs> Even though, of course, I don't have any problem with nudity. Most people around here don't, which is a, another great thing. I know. Rocky would probably rather be nude too, huh? He's like, oh, saddles. They're like wearing a bra that's too tight. Ow, ow. Oh, saddles. They're like wearing a bra that's too tight. Ow, ow. But, um, easy, easy. I know, you're getting impatient. Oh, baby. Just be, be patient. Lady Godiva. Mm -hmm. Lady Godiva and her husband, Lord Leofric, were around during, between 10, I think it was around 1080, 1040 to 1080, somewhere in that general time period. Um, and uh, they moved to Coventry, England, as adults, and her husband was a rather ambitious sort, Lord Leofric. And um, as time went on in Coventry, he gradually uh, uh, got some political status and eventually became mayor of Coventry, or whatever that they called that, the person in charge of things back then. And um, being a greedy sort, he started raising the taxes. Now, Lady Godiva was uh, an avid rider, and um, she was out among the people in the township all the time and got to know people really well because she and her attendants would go riding around through town and stop and get a, you know, a snack here or, whatever, or talk there. And she realized that the taxes that her husband was um, and, you know, getting going in this area was really becoming a hardship for the, for the people. And, um, she and he would discuss it, and he would be like, uh-uh, I'm not changing anything, and she'd be, oh, but you need to, and, you know, back and forth, husband and wife, bicker, bicker, that kind of thing. And, t and finally, one day, he and Jess said to her, if you ride naked through Coventry, I will lower the taxes. And she's like, so be it. And he didn't believe that she would do it. But she was, not only was she an avid horsewoman and uh, a very independent person for that time period, she was also quite lovely. So I don't think that riding naked really bothered her at all. <laughs> and uh, so in August of that year, she saddled up her horse, got her attendants, and rode naked through the town of Coventry. And... Um, People in the town all knew what she was doing and why, and they all came out and cheered her on, and um, she became quite the local hero. Again, yeah, sure. so. so basically, she was one of the first tax okay. protesters <laughs> in written. Well, not the first, but one of the most famous tax protesters I think in history. And um, as such, I think that she was an, just an incredible woman. I sit straight and proud like Lady Godiva would have done, flaunting her assets. <laughs> <laughs>